Wow, that was fast. I didn't think anybody would actually show up. <laughs> Everyone having fun? We have a good day today. Hey, Justin. Hey, Misty. Well, I didn't think I didn't think people were going to come this soon. I was going to go over this Iron Man because I did put a gloss I did put a gloss on it and I was going to do a satin finish just to tone it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm curious to know if anybody is not on lockdown, actually. Isn't the whole world on lockdown right now? All right, well, let's get this out of the way. We'll start on the spawn base. Oh, thanks, fun time. Five months. And I say it's funny in December when I switched over to doing more like detailed sculpts. Um, I went from like seven thousand subs to now I'm almost at like nineteen thousand in like just a few months just from switching up what I do on the channel.
All right, so for most of my sculptures, I've been using just something like this that you can just pull off of Google. Um, I scale it to the size that I like. So I took the, um, like a little inspiration off of the statue where he's basically like crouched on like the cross. So I went out and I cut some scrap wood. So I'll put this like that and then these will get right now today we'll epoxy these on right here like this and then he'll be perched whoop, somewhere on top up here and then we'll put a bunch of like dirt and a bunch of skulls i'm probably gonna either make one skull and then just use some sculpey or um sculpey use some uh um oh i can't think silicone and make a mold or just make a mold uh show people in the video or on here how to make a mold out of just the sculpey itself by pressing it in and then baking it it works pretty good because i'm gonna need i think i'm gonna need at least you know 20 some odd skulls so that'll be fun to paint that The funny thing is, is that uh, the Mandalorian, the part two, that was, yeah, it was acted. But when I really did see it for the first time, I really did act like that. I was like happy because I got to update it kind of thing. But I was also like really pissed at the same time because I did it. And then literally like the next day, or I think it was the same day that I posted that video, the... Um, the episode came out and changed everything. Oh. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going back and forth. I have the, the, uh, woo, the webcam up here, and then I got the other camera and everything else here. So I'm gonna have to be working around two cameras to do this. So if you see me stopping and pausing, it's just me. I move around the camera a lot. I try to get, you know, more dynamic shots for the videos and stuff, so they're not just all from one angle. I'll show it real quick if you can see. I have it on here. Hello. So it's just on the tripod here. All right, let's get back here before I break stuff even more than it already is. All right, Missy, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, see, that's that's awesome, Danny. That's what I, I said. I just love. I never really. I I draw. I used to draw a lot, and then I was like, you know what? I like sculpting. Let's just do it. So, I did it. So, like in the videos, people say like, you know, this is not good, or this is that, this is this, or the paint's not good. Well, you know, it probably isn't. <laughs> um, I like it, but uh, I said I, a lot of people don't know that I've only been doing, like really detailed scopes like this for only a few months before this it was like minecraft stuff and like pokemon oh yeah kaz we're gonna do some uh the spawn eyes will light up
here, let's get this thing glued up here. All right. So we're just using the five minute epoxy. Use a little trick where we just lay down some tape. I've briefly showed this in one of the videos where you can just lay down a bunch of strips and just overlap them. And then that way, when you're done mixing, it just peels right up and you don't have to worry about it. So the thing is, I would love to do collabs with lots of people, but the, you know, the fact of the matter is, is I'm not anywhere, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big channel at all in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, it really doesn't, I would see all the benefits from it and they wouldn't. So I don't think that they would really, you know, they would want to collab is the problem. So I have the two halves of the um, the cross. I measured it all out, so it should be here. So it's over here. So it should be like right here. And then the same on the other side. Lay down some more tape real quick so it doesn't um, stick to my mat here. Mixed up way too much epoxy. I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Let me ask them, see if anyone's asking any questions. Hey, everybody. Hey, Anna. Hey, Renee. Um, what was it? 
will X Men. Um, the problem is, is that I would love to make sculptures for for everybody. Um, I mean, I have a lot of time now, but a lot of people do. But um, the problem with that is, is that as far as far as I'm aware. I'm the only one that pushes or tries to push out sculptures of this uh, detail every week. It's it's so many hours I have to put in uh, every single day along with um, my full-time job. Um, I did put, but I know people do want them. Um, so there, as I said, the, I say, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like pushing stuff like this, but the Patreon page has uh, the two tiers on there and then I do the raffle every two months and every three months. Um, and if you win that raffle, then you get to basically just tell me what you want me to make and then I give it to you. That would probably be the, I don't know, the easiest way to do it. But the problem is, is that there's no guarantee that you win. Uh, Lefty Network, I make, I don't know, I make everything. Right now, it's I'm doing uh, mostly just, you know, I guess like superheroes, like DC, Marvel, but I do, I've done everything. Like Tim Burton, Fortnite, Pokemon. Just recently, I've been, tr I've been doing a lot more of the um, really, really detailed stuff because the other stuff was boring me, so this is actually... It's a lot more fun. <laughs> Sculpture for a hundred grand. <laughs> See, that's another thing. I don't think my, um, I don't think my sculptures. I don't know. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I do them. I do them more for me. Um. I don't think they're that great. I don't even know what is fair to charge. Like I said, I've, I haven't been doing it that long. Um, I am 34. Do I sound old? Um, Joshua, I, I have never used the Shavat. I really, really want to. Oh, sorry. I was, <laughs> I was reading stuff. Um, but yeah, I really actually want to try the Schwant. The only problem with that clay is that, um, I like to paint all my stuff. So I'd have to, I don't know, I'd have to, I have to do the silicone mold like I did for the Mandalorian, but I have to do it a lot, you know, I don't know, I guess cleaner and I would have to cut it up and do the keys. And so the arms and the legs and everything come off. So it's very, you know, cause that, that Mandalorian sculpt was, it was a pain to uh, make a cast of that. Um, Andrea started posting videos. I think it was, uh, it was the end of October, early November of last year, but I was only doing, I was doing everything. I was doing like, um, Cause I do a lot of like carpenter work too. So I was doing like woodworking stuff and, and clay stuff and pretty much just anything like crafty. Um, I didn't switch. And then I switched to doing just clay stuff in April. So I haven't even been doing it a year. And then, like I said, then I switched over and then I was just doing like simple little Pokemon stuff here. I have, uh, ah, 
I mean, I have all like the old videos and stuff, but like little, like simple little Pokemon like this. Oh, everything's breaking. Or like this. And then the back pops out. And I believe, hopefully these eyes still light up. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, they, they do. But you can't really, you can't really see. It's too bright. I have too many lights on in here. And it just goes back on like that. But then after I did those, I jumped to like Fortnite stuff. It's basically like I just tried to do popular stuff. It's, it's not stuff I wanted to do. It was just, it was popular. So it's what you kind of have to do when you start out on YouTube. You just got to do the popular crap, whether you like it or not really uh, but this little guy it's my first first video is this uh ganon amiibo from the um the bowser i turned it into whoop, turn it into ganon with the big cape and stuff yeah and then of course, of course, the stuff lights up, like the eyes. And then uh, you won't be—I don't know if you see it—but the Triforce on his hand lights up. But yeah, like I said, I only switched to the the really detailed stuff a couple months ago. So the, the Mandalorian was the first one I did that was just like. I would I feel like a legit sculpture. Is this done yet? Almost. There we go. See, tape comes right off. There we go. We're good. Now I gotta figure out how to mount it on here. So we'll put it up something like that. Maybe tilt it sideways or something. Yeah, we'll just leave it straight and we'll just have him perched on top here. Uh, how did I learn to make those things like the lighting, etc.? Um, I don't know. I like to, I was trying to be different because everybody else does. Everyone, there's a lot of people that do this stuff. Um, I was trying to be different and I used to do, um, I still do a little bit, but I used to do a lot of like electrical engineering stuff. Like I used to fix, um, I did a lot of fixing old like retro consoles and uh, modding those and selling those. So um, I know my way, you know, around like electronics and stuff like that. Good night from Italy. Yeah. I was like, yeah, God bless Italy. I'm not really keeping up on the news really. It's just all, depressing stuff they just the news seems like they just get off on stuff like this that just makes it seem like they don't want it to get fixed they just like to report on the bad stuff because it gets them clicks joshua yes the spawn will have the light up eyes I was thinking maybe I could light up other stuff, like the skulls and stuff, but 
I'm not sure. I haven't wa I haven't read Spawn or watched the cartoon in, in years, so I'm not sure that all that lights up. I know he had weapons that lighted up, but I might do something like that too. Yeah, even if it um, the only problem with it getting overbaked, um, it does say it just turns brown. But when it when you overbake it, it just release releases gases that aren't very good to breathe. Um, but as far as that, it should be fine to paint. That's funny, Chris. Not all otters are weird. I just happen to be one of the weird ones. I don't... I know a lot of weird artists. I don't know if that goes uh, hand in hand or not, but... I don't know. If you just look at my, any of my videos, I like to be... I don't like to be serious in my videos. Some people don't like it, you know, but it is what it is. <laughs> Hello from the UK. Hello. Yeah, Kaz, I was thinking about stuff like that. About the shooting, shooting the, the green stuff and everything, the powers. Hello from Italy. Man, I don't have a lot of people from Italy. Um, Mark as, uh, zero 21. Um, it's not really the brushes that are doing that. Um, with acrylic paints, you can, the good thing about acrylic paints is you can put a little bit of water in there and it'll make it thinner and it'll actually go over a lot, um, smoother and it will actually get rid of a lot of those brush strokes you're having problems with. Harper, I was actually going to do a video on that. I was going to take um, the uh, all the like the regular Sculpey. Okay, there's that there's that white Sculpey. Just don't even start. Don't even touch it. It's literally it's just garbage. It's crumbly mess. And then there's the regular Sculpey, which is the like the beige. And then there's like the mediums and the super Sculpey and stuff like that, or the the firm and stuff like that. Um, it just depends on what you want to do the um like i have like see like it's really easy to press the regular um regular sculpey here it's really easy to press this one actually takes i gotta actually you know press this it's so it's really good if you want to if you're doing a lot of details you're going to want to go with something harder like the firm or the medium because it's just it's a lot easier to do the detail and have the detail stay, if that makes any sense. But I'm gonna do a video on um, all like a lot of like all like four of them. I have some coming in the mail that I'm waiting on, and then I'll do that and I'll just do a bunch of tests on them, like baking thicknesses and everything like that. And is one more stronger than the other, or and like drop tests to show how try to show the difference between that malleability you get. See the Master Chief from Halo. There's so, there's so many things I want to do. Um, but unfortunately, the things that I want to do, I don't know. I don't. There's they're not popular. So, I'll do something that takes me hours and hours and hours of work to do, 
and just because nobody is no one's looking for it it just youtube just won't recommend it um and then i can do something that you know everybody is looking for and it takes me no time at all to do but it can just skyrocket in views Um, uh, Mark, no, you don't have to do, um, I've never seen a different, I've, in one of my videos, I talked about this, um, where I primered stuff first and it didn't, I'd noticed no difference. Um, the only thing you do with the, the white and the black is that if you're doing like, um, if you're doing like a lot of like yellows and like yellows, reds, greens, stuff like that, that's on the lighter end. No sound. Is there no sound? Do I need to turn up my mic? I'm kind of far away from my mic. I don't want to, like, kill everybody. Um, but the, um, the white and black, like I said, if you want to do, like, the yellows and the greens and reds and stuff like that, those lighter colors, then just do a base in white. Like, blacks and blues and stuff like that, they go over anything anyways. Um, so usually white is the best and it will just save you a lot of heartache. I'm saying, let's, <laughs> I'm just saying, I, was like, I came to just hang out. I'm like, so I can sculpt. I'm just doing the base today, getting the base set up, getting the, uh, wire armature all set up. Good to go. I so I can mix up some more epoxy real quick, and then um, I just figured everybody want to ask, you know, answer questions and hang out and stuff. So let me glue the um, the cross down, and then I can answer some more questions and stuff. Yeah, but see, like when this so this box is all dry, so I just go like this and peels up, and you're good, and then you can just do it again. And that way you don't have to worry about it making a mess or having like a designated, I don't know, people have like cardboard or designated dishes for it and stuff like that. That just, I don't know, it just seems more of a pain than anything. Try not to make so much epoxy this time. I'm too lazy to find something to hold this. So I'm just going to hold it for a few minutes till it sets up. I'm honestly shocked there's this many people watching. I thought it would just be like just a few people. We could hang out, answer some questions. You know, I know people are bored. I'm kind of, I'm more introverted anyway. So I did, you know, I did a lot of my partying and everything when I was younger so now I don't I just well I work and I do this I really don't have much time to do anything else right now at the moment
So Monster Clay, I'm going to do, I, I really want to try it. So I'm gonna, it's going to be, I'm going to try Monster Clay and the Chavant, the hard. Um, they're like the wax, um, oily, oil wax clays or whatever. Just the problem with those is that you can, yes, you can technically paint on top of them, but it's not like a permanent thing. If it fell over, it would just, I'd be screwed. So, um, I want to, I'm going to have to make silicone molds and everything like that. It costs, you know, it costs enough extra. It costs like, it's like $60 at least of silicone and stuff. And then not to mention the, all the time that it takes to make the mold and let it set up. It takes like three days just to make the dang mold because it has to dry for so long. That And then with me trying to get them out within like a week, week and a half, it's kind of... I'm very limited on the things I can do, unfortunately. Um, I live in Vegas, so my day job is... Um, I was going to say entertainment but, entertainment, but that sounds wrong. It's just uh, it's a, a server. Server, which it's a tipping job. So that was one of the first things. I already knew it was going to happen. I already knew they were going to shut down, you know, restaurants and stuff like that. Will this stay now? Can I show something here? Okay. Um, Chris, that is a good um, thing to say about the um, the chains. I might buy little tiny chains. Um, but there's this stuff that I got that I'm going to start using for fabric. So for the cape and stuff. Um, I got this metal screen. So I basically just put the clay, wrap the clay around this, and then I can bend this kind of whichever way I want. And that will solve the, the, the cracking and the, the, you know, the sculpey doing the crappy stuff it does. Oh, come on, man. Maybe I should put something on here that's hold it up. There we go. Baking soda. That works. I cannot say which restaurant I work at. Because then all the... Everyone will want to come in. Um, I don't listen to much music um, why I sculpt. I'm more I more watch. I just have like shows on in the back like background or something. Thanos armor was nuts. Thanos armor uh, I have a very bad habit that I need to get out of of literally trying to make it as like 100% as I can when, you know, most people, you know, they're not going to take it and be like, Oh, that line's off or this line should go up here a little bit and stuff like that. But I'm like that. So it takes stuff like that. Even with the Iron Man, it just took forever to get every tiny little detail that I could get in there. I see some other people that made like Iron Man sculptures and stuff like that. And they didn't do, they didn't put any, I don't know. They, they just, 
I don't know. They didn't put like half the details in there that are on there. And I'm just, I can't do that. Uh, Dent, it is going to be, it's the cross that, uh, um, that Spawn's going to be sitting on top of. I'm going to put some screws in, um, I'll put a screw in from underneath after I get everything set up. But once I get the, um, the Sculpey and everything else around it, that'll do a lot of, uh, a lot of the heavy lifting. Favorite comic book character? When I was a kid, it's still it's Batman. I mean, it's I know it's generic and stupid, <laughs> but it's Batman. I can't stand. Um, I don't know. I can't stand over. I guess overpowered superheroes like Superman. It just seems Superman seems to have a superpower for everything. Uh, Marvel DC crossover sculpture. Yep, I am. I have plans to do that. Um, people get mad though. Um, I said in my Thanos video that I was going to make my own kind of end game scene or diorama, and I know that. Uh, well, I was halfway through the suit, and then I like I realized it was the wrong suit, but I liked. I kind of like that suit better, so I did that one. And then the the gauntlet's on the wrong hand, but I had to put it on there because it makes sense for the pose that he was in. Um, and people are saying it's not on that hand. But I don't know. I said, like I said, I said in the first um, the first half, you know, I want I want um, to put everybody that everybody wants in there. It doesn't. They don't have to be in the movie. Um, a thing that I will tell you is that I'm thinking about and trying to figure out how to make, <laughs> uh, see, I'm, I get too ambitious, uh, basically a giant Ant-Man. Like, and I mean giant, I mean like at least two feet tall. opinion on clay claim i didn't even know who he was until everybody said that i was copying him but i was doing my sculptures first i don't want to start anything it's what is what it is but um he he's a bigger channel so he has his army that comes over and <laughs> says that i'm copying people but i'm trying i literally don't want to do that at all i'm trying to do my own thing Um, Mark, I have tons of brushes. Like I said, I'm not, um, I do a lot of, I did a lot of like digital painting. Um, cause I draw a lot, but I have tons and tons of brushes. As you can see, I literally have here. I got, I have tons. I even have more that I bought. I've heard that range from, they range from cheap to expensive. Um, I find the, the round nose, these rounded tip ones, the round, yeah, the, they're called round nose brushes, I believe. The round nose ones are the best. Um, just get them, like, like, I think I have them linked under my videos. I think these are on there. Um, 
but just like the smaller sizes of the round nose I use pretty much all the time. I have little ones like these fluffy ones. These are like dollar makeup brushes. They're good for uh, dry brushing if you're doing like rocks or, you know, stuff like that. I think I'm better than, oh, better than Clay Claim. He does, he just does different, he does, you know, his style is just more simplistic. There's nothing against it. It's just, that's what he likes to do. And it works great for him. Um, I just remember I had to, um, what was it? It was the, well, I did the Mandalorian one. And then he did it like two months later. And I had tons of people coming over. And like filling comments up saying that I copied, I copied, I copied. I'm like, how do I copy? I was before. Um, and then I did the Yoda or the baby Yoda with the toad. And then he did it a couple weeks later. And in that video, I used um, super glue and dabbed the super glue on top and then used the cotton swab to like pull it up for the hair. And then he did the exact same thing in his video, which is what it is. But then everyone... I don't care that people copy, but then I just don't like people coming over here to my channel. And then, you know, it's just filling my chat with, you know, the comments with just, you know, I don't want to be, you know, stupidity, basically. There's a lot of people overseas, isn't there? I said, I can do the, um, I can start the, um, the sculpting. I just figured people would want, you know, just hang out, answer questions and stuff. I'm going to be doing it, um, I'm going to try to stream, I don't know, every day. Um, that I do, you know, that I sculpt. I'm going to try. I don't know what's the best times to do it or not, though. Thanks, Alan. I really appreciate it. See you, Danny. Have a good one. Um, my artwork or sketchbook. I don't know. See, I would. I don't know. I have a lot of like drawings and like that, and I could do drawing videos. I just don't know if. You know, people, unfortunately, I don't know. I feel like they frown upon changing stuff. Like they show up for a certain thing and they get something else and they get really mad and they leave.
So I'm going to do a bunch of like a dirt mound with skulls under here. So we're just going to start bulking out this with some aluminum foil so I don't have to waste more clay. Is it difficult to learn how to sculpt? Uh, I don't know. A lot of people say it's easier to sculpt than it is to draw because um, there's ways to cheat it a little bit. Um, like where are my calipers? So you can take, you know, things like this and you can get you know sheets like this and just be like oh i need to make you know a wire frame i want the person to be this tall so okay his leg is you know oh his legs oh that long or his arm is this long or his head is this big um when drawing there's a lot of different you know perspectives and everything like that, that you have to learn here you can just literally do it from one way and you you know, then you just turn it the way you want and then you get the perspective and stuff. So it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, the cross is crooked like that, um, like I said, because it's going to be in like a mound and he's going to be like purse on top of it, kind of like pushing it. But like I said, you'll see when I do the um, the armature, I'm pretty much going to go just based off this. Because I took this um, guy here, and I took that's where I took all the measurements for the cross and everything. Let me just overturn.
So let's skin this out. I'm happy with how this is looking here. So this is going to be populated with, you know, like I said, like 20 or 30 skulls, which should be fun to paint. So let's throw this in my pasta maker. It's a little off uh, camera here. So get these nice even sheets like this. I could run it back through and get it more, you know, smooth and consistent, but this will be good for this right here. Um, now it's not needed. Like I said, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I do it all the time just because it's, I don't know, it makes things more sturdy and I don't like things moving around at all. So I made this little like stand just to keep this uh bacon bond upright or so i get it all out of the bottle so just cover this whole thing wherever i'm going to put clay it's just basically like a a clay glue basically and then we just press on the sheets and start building up this skull mound thing thingamajig sculpting marble or any other kind of rock you know i see people do that stuff i don't think i would have the patience to deal with that and then knowing my luck i would i don't know i'd make a big mistake or something and ruin the whole dang thing and then i just get pissed and stop like sculpting in like marble and stone is like you know, drawing in pen, it's, you know, the, it's just, it's more challenging, I guess. But, you know, high risk, high reward. Clay pasta. So I'm just layering it on until I get it to, you know, until I'm happy with it. It looks kind of, it could, looks kind of dirty, like a dirt mound kind of thing. I'm not gonna go crazy with smoothing it out because I'm gonna be putting so much stuff over the top of it.
So now people ask me, they ask, you know, they say, well, why do you need a pasta maker? You, you don't at all. Um, but for doing this cross right here, it'll be extremely easy this way. So the clay is nice and conditioned. So we just roll out a thin, even sheet. Takes like 10 seconds. Take a long cutter like this. We cut out these strips here. Throw on some bacon bond. Uh, the name of this clay is um, Super Sculpey Firm. Yeah, the Super Sculpey original is fine. Uh, Geeky, it's just, um, I started out using that, but it just wouldn't hold the details I wanted to. It was just a big pain in the butt. And I just slowly, then I went to like medium, and then now I'm on to firm, and I'll never go back to anything else. The firm just, it's just so easy to, it's nice because if you, with the pasta maker, yeah, you can condition it real quick, and you can, really just play with it like pieces in your hand like this and just doing this will warm it up enough and make it really really pliable so you can like just press it on and then after about a few minutes it will cool down and be you know really hard and good to sculpt in details uh timo i've I don't know. I haven't had that happen with the wood expanding in the oven and breaking the clay. I bake, um, I bake really low. Um, it says to bake at like 275 is what it recommends, I believe, on the box. Yeah, 275 uh, Fahrenheit. But I bake at like 240, 230 for about 40 minutes. And I don't really have a problem with um, cracks. The only time I have problems with cracks is if I do a lot of bakes um, or if the clay is too thick. Um, books on the subject? Um, I don't know. Let's say I drew, I've been drawing my whole life and that's what I, I did a lot of stuff like that. I did 
um, 3D modeling for school for a little bit and stuff like that. Um, but ju it's if just depends on what you want to do. Like if you want to do people, just look at anatomy books. Um, there's really no, I don't know. People say like they, you know, how do you start like to draw or start to do anything? Just just do it. Like literally, just start. I mean, my first my first sculptures were garbage. Um, and every single one I do, they just slowly just keep getting better and better and better and better. Um, yeah, you can use Sculpey and then do the heat gun, but once you do the heat gun, you're pretty much just locked in. It's not gonna, it doesn't, um, it's not like a like a chavant clay or like the monster clay where you like you can heat it and it will you know get soft over and over again once you heat it for a little bit like i did on the um the iron man helmet i just took a heat gun well my soldering like workstation back here it gets up to like whatever i want but i put it at like 250 degrees and i just i went over it for just like a minute on the outside just to harden the outside so i could hollow out all the clay underneath so I could put the LEDs in there. So you better make sure that once that detail is in, you, it's where it needs to be and it's smooth and free of fingerprints or whatever, because you're kind of screwed after that, unless you want to add more clay on top of it. Um, when you use Sculpey, would you use the glue, the Bacon Bond? Um, I use Bacon Bond for everything when I'm doing it on stuff. Will it stick to things? Um, yes and no. Um, like if you wanted to, if you were to say you had like this thing, and you just wanted to lay a ball on top of it like this. If I let go, it's it's obviously it's gonna fall. Um, you'd have to press it in pretty hard and ruin the shape of it. Um, so that's where if you just take some of the glue here, real quick, you just take. Some of the glue, then this way you can take the watch. Well, it's not gonna stay now, but. So you can basically press it in and that way it doesn't ruin the shape that you have and the glue will keep it there. And then when it bakes it, it basically the glue turns to clay itself and you're good to go. That's why I use the glue. It has nothing to do with really other than that. So that way I don't have to press it really hard on there. And even then sometimes it just depends. Um, well, Sculpey after it bakes, um, Rob literally just the little pieces like that. They're so brittle. That's why I try to put like wire screen in there or, you know, even if it's the little tiny wire, like the floral wire, um, I try to put that in there, but there's this new stuff called, um, oh, what is it? It's uh cause clay, I think. And it's a rubber clay. And that way, it basically, you can make bendable figures with it and stuff. So for all, like, the little details and stuff like that, it just doesn't break. It's amazing. Um, I plan on streaming for a few hours. So I started at three. Well, it's an hour and a half. Already been an hour and a half. Holy crap, I haven't done anything. I've been asking people asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Hey, everybody.
See, now you don't understand why I built this little thing to hold it upside down. I still feel a lot in here, but we're done with this one. I'll just get another one. Rob, it's okay. I'm trying to answer, you know, everyone's questions at the same time. I'm not, you know, it's not, a, it's not a race. I know people, I see the thing is, I'm very, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what the speed of sculpting is, but I'm not, I'm not that fast. So it depends on what it is. Sometimes it's really easy and I get it done real quick. Other times it just takes forever. So I know people are like shut in and stuff like that. So this is just a fun thing to do for people to just come and hang out, have a good time, ask questions, you know.
Um, how long does it take for something like this to make? Um, it depends. It just depends on how much, you know, how many details are there. Um, I'll probably work on it about five, about five hours tonight, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, next day. So like 20, 30 hours at least. And then if it, like the Iron Man took like over like a hundred hours just because it was so much to do with the, with the, the base and all the, there's like some like 30 LEDs in it or something, something crazy. video when you really want to fast forward i know that's what i'm saying it's like I, people don't know how much they don't realize how much gets cut out like i have like hours and hours of footage that just just never gets seen
um, let's see. Uh, Ray, the funny thing about that is that um, a lot of them I really like working on. Um, but then after, you know, because since I cram it into such a short time trying to get it done within like a week, um, towards the end, I kind of just end up hating it. And then I push through and then I like it at the end. Um, like I said, the, the, like I'll make one and then I love it. And then I'll make another one and then that one will be my favorite. And then I make another one and then that one becomes my favorite. Cause every single time I, I feel like I get just a little bit better. So and I just try to push myself a little bit harder with every uh, new sculpture. If you haven't subbed to Carla yet, I don't know what you're doing. You should have subbed already. Um, how do you avoid fingerprints and dirt? Um, I don't know about the um, 
the dirt thing, but the fingerprints, um, they're just going to happen. That's why you have, um, you just have to go through and, you know, smooth it out. So I don't know if you can't, I don't know, you probably won't be able to see on here, but, you know, if I make like a big, you know, fingerprint, like a big dip. I don't know, you can't see it on here, right here. You can use your thumb, you know, just to smooth it out. And it's pretty much already gone. Or you can take um, things like these rasp um, or rake tools. Um, these are amazing for smoothing everything out, getting the fingerprints gone and stuff like that. Um, this is basically um, guitar string because it's it has like basically you no know, it's a it's a thick wire and that has a bunch of wire wrapped around it so you get all these tiny little ridges and then you just uh, crimp it in like a brass tube or let's see I made like like little like specialty ones and I just like glued them to the side of like an acry acrylic rod it's really really cheap and very very effective so you can just take the rasp or the rake and go like this over the whole thing and then there's different um, sizes of wire you can get but then once it gets it it'll get it really really smooth you'll see tiny like, like little tiny little rip like little ridges in there but they're very very easy to just uh, blend out with either like alcohol or a brush I don't know I don't know about like washing my hands I don't really get the um, clay dirty if it's like a white clay or like the colored polymer clays there's a reason why I don't um, I don't deal with those those um, you have to like if you use like red or you know like red or black or anything like that like you'll know, just the colors will just like contaminate everything it is very satisfying to rake
on our way to 420 people. I was saying, I already considered this a win. I was only expecting like five people. So that's good. Yes, and this it is live, Chris. There is like a there is a delay, and I didn't put one on, so I don't know what it's doing. Um, it seems like it's about like ten seconds. Say purple if it's live, if it isn't. See, one of the bad things about, um, when you get clay, sometimes it's sometimes it's really fresh, and sometimes it's not. Um, and the firmer you go with the Sculpey, the more you have to you know work it. Um, with a pasta maker or pasta roller, it's very very easy. So you roll the first one through, and you get kind of this weird stuff like this. So you just fold it up, run it through again, and after a couple times, it'll be nice and smooth. See, this time it only took uh, two rolls. Now it's nice and smooth. Yeah, almost done layering up the cross, and then I'll show you the the super secret technique for uh, rock textures. It's uh, super secret, yeah. So you see how underneath this cross, you're never gonna, you're never going to see it, because it's gonna be laying like that. Like you would have to really get, really far under there to see it. Do you texture it? Do you care if it's there? Or do you just leave it like that, and then you know it's not done, but then no one else does. Yes, yeah, very secret. Definitely not on my channel anywhere else. Um, Carla, I have about, um, well, I just got done, I'm on like this last box here, and I actually only have, uh, about two more right now, which should be just, which should be more than enough for this, um, sculpture, but then I will buy, um, 
I buy them like I buy them at like five or six at a time. Uh, they're just the the one pound um, bricks. Uh, Chris, yeah, it's the Super Sculpey Firm. Um, I have medium, uh, which it's fine. They all work, you know, for what they're, you know, what they're intended to work for. It just depends on if what kind of details you want it to hold and how um, how easy you want to get those details in there. Um, the texture of the cross, uh, granite or marble. I don't. It the reference I'm going by just looks like it's yeah, you know, uh, like a cracked stone. Doesn't really seem like it's granite or marble. Just texture it. You don't know when someone takes the piece and sees it. See, that's the thing. I'm the only one that sees it really. Um, if I were to make it for somebody, of course I would do it, but it's like when it's just yours, you know, do you do it? I'm going to do it just because I'm like that. I just, I can't, I can't leave it like that. I just wonder if people, when they do theirs, if there's like, oh no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. No one sees it. A blank space will bother your conscience. <laughs> um, me, the you can get um, texture in all of the clays. Uh, but it seems like the um, like the original Sculpey kind of like bounces back a little bit, and the details you kind of lose them. Um, it's just I don't know it's hard to really explain it. But when you like press in with a tool or something, like um, where's my stuff here? Like when you take a a tool. Like this, and you have the clay, and you press into it. Like, it just, I don't know, it stays better. Like, the lines and stuff like that, they stay better in there. You can do, like, little, you know, fine fine lines and everything like that, and they'll all stay. Um, I really don't know how to explain it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, they... The original Sculpey bounces back more. That's all I can really say. Um, I expected this to be at least 
Um, I mean, it's going to take me at least 20 or 30 hours to finish it with the painting and everything like that. And no, it will not be done in uh, one go. Um, like I said, it's already 5 o'clock. I might be doing it for maybe another half an hour. I kind of want to get this um, cross up and going um, and textured. See, look, see, it just came off the... <laughs> The wood here when I lift it up, but now that I have the clay and that, it it kind of just stays itself. That's cool. I'll read out the questions. Um, do you use cosplay? Uh, not yet. I really want to. Um, it looks like amazing stuff. I've looked a lot into it, and the little for like little pieces and stuff like that that always break off. If I could use that rubber clay, it would be amazing. Then I wouldn't have to worry about half the stuff I have to worry about. Where are you going to have spawn pose? Do you know? Yes. Um, so this cross has um, multiple little like doodads on the like little round circle things, like a kind of like a clover thing on the end. There'll be like one, two, and three. So I got to do that. And then there's going to be the ring around the middle. Um, but he's basically going to be, let's see. Take this on here. He's gonna be up here, like perched on up here, kind of like a like a Batman pose, like one hand grabbing on top, grabbing on top here. Maybe like one hand out here, holding a weapon, or doing something and having the cape, having the cape just flail out like this. Huge, huge cape. You have 60 pounds of cosplay. It's sticky and very rubbery. Kind of hard to use, really. That's not good. Don't tell me that.
Um, how are you going to do the cape so it stays flowing and in position until you bake it? Um, I showed that a little while ago. Basically, I have a metal screen. It's like a fine like metal mesh. And I basically put the... I sandwich it, sandwich it in between the clay. And then that way I can uh, bend it and pose it that way. I'll also put uh, armature wire underneath, uh, like along the main edges of it. Did three of their two hundred dollar packages? Holy crap! Carla, yes, uh, that um, the thumbnail is basically my um, loose reference I'm going off of. I might change it up a little bit. I don't want to copy it completely. Hello, Spawn will sit on the cross. Yes, he will sit on the cross. I'm just going to smooth out the edges a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because it is going to be um, textured and everything like that. And I am going to add uh, more dimension around the edges as well. So it's it'll going to hide all of that. But basically what we want to do now is we want to texture the inside part just as it'll be a lot easier to do it this way. And then um, I'll probably um, bake it in this form and then I can add the extra layers on top of that and then texture that and then rebake that again. Are you into drawing or is it just statue making? Love the project by the way you're killing them. Thank you. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, no, I draw a lot actually. I haven't in a little while but I've been drawing since I was like six um, I do a lot of drawings and stuff like that. I don't even know if I could change over the scene and even show that. I have a lot of people asking about it, actually. Cosclay is like SS Firm, but rubbery and sticky. Powder pasta roller is a must for cosclay. Hmm. Jason B, that's interesting about the cape. I'll be sculpting a long coat for future time. There's just another cape. Uh, just saying, to save yourself a lot of trouble and get either some very thin, um, this floral wire. It's really cheap and there's, it comes on a crap ton roll. Or put some, like the aluminum wire or something in there. Uh, it'll save yourself. It might be, it'll, it's going to be more fiddly to get it done. But then once it's done, you don't have to worry about it being so brittle. All right, so for the super secret technique to getting a rock texture is just that, a rock, which I got right here. Oh yeah, fancy, fancy rocks. Oh, got to turn on my other camera too because I forgot I'm actually making a video of this too. I 
The chair keeps moving back and forth, and it sounds like I'm farting. At least now that it's broken from the base, I can pick it up and manipulate it a little bit. Just like that, like 10 seconds. Once you dry brush that, it'll look amazing. Like he stored the old squeaky chair excuse, right? Good texture for skin is orange peel. Yep. There's a lot of good um, textures you wouldn't think were would be good. I have... Um, like tin foils good crumpled up for certain things i have i took um people make like these um 3d printed like rolls of like cobble streets and stuff like that and if you shrink them down really, really small you can get a really good um a lot of good like different textures and stuff and it's really easy to apply like little scales and everything like that What state am I in? I am in Nevada. That's funny. Speaking of <laughs> eating Doritos, um, my wife just got back from the store and she finally found chicken. Do people have chicken at their their supermarkets now? Toilet toilet paper, tissues. What is it? Tissues, pasta. Is the cosplay, um, the cosplay is out of Kickstarter, isn't it? Because it's made by the same people that do Monster Clay. So I've just been waiting for them to mass produce it. How is the virus out here? It's not crazy yet. Haha, ha, you're eating chicken right now? I'm having chicken tonight. We're in a little bit.
out of Jello. Later this year, cosplay. Very nice. Running out of canned beans. Like the whole, yeah, the whole canned aisle is out. Um, depends on what type of, like, time of day you go, but they'll, like, restock, like, ground beef, ground beef steaks and stuff like that. They've always had, really. It's been the chicken, really, that you can't really find. Have chicken still a TP shortage? And so I kind of go out to the store about every day just to just to look. It seems like it's coming back slowly. Early in the morning, you got to go. They have, um, I tried, I went out there, but because they opening like the hour early for the, like the seniors and stuff like that. And they're literally lined up. I kind of feel bad. They're lined up all the way down the street with carts. It's crazy. Difficulty finding milks. Yes. Yeah. I go milk's fine here. New currency will just be toilet paper. And so I was telling a lot of people that I work with, I wasn't really, I'm not worried about the virus really. I'm just worried about how people react to it. And they're just, it's just killing everything.
Hello, Adam. We're in full quarantine for 19 days. Yeah, we got hit with a 30 day quarantine, but it was just nuts because um, my job, it was busy. It was, you know, because I run the restaurant, so it was busy Friday and Saturday. Um, Sunday was kind of like it always is. And then I went to work on Monday and it was just dead. And then uh, Tuesday they did the quarantine. Will this be made up of multiple pieces? Um, so right now, um, this is uh, this right here is good for right now. So I have it textured here. So I will bake this um, at about like 230, 240 um, degrees Fahrenheit for about 30, 40 minutes. Um, cause it's very, it's very thin. It shouldn't need that long. Um, and then I will add on the details that go around all the edges. There's a ring. Oh, I can't, there's a ring here that goes on the inside it goes around. And then all the little like clover finial things that go on all the edges. We get on, added on after that. And then I'll bake it again. Um, then I'll make a skull. And then I don't. I haven't decided if I'm going to make a silicone mold of the skull or use um, like a sculpey. And I'll show you how to do that either in the video or on the. We'll be in the video for sure, but on the live stream too, um, where you can just press it into here, and and then you bake this. You bake the mold, and then you can kind of make molds with sculpey basically. But it's it's more little it's more fiddly and so i might just do it with silicone but because i need a lot of skulls to go around the base down here in like the the dirt pile um so and then once that base is all done um then i will do the armature and place it where i need it to go Damn, 30 days. Yeah, 30 days. Some people have been, um, they've been longer and then they, they're, it's like, it just keeps getting like extended. So I don't know how long it's going to be. An old toothbrush, uh, an old toothbrush is great for texturing. Heck yes, it is. I have some around here somewhere. But like I said, I'll bake this. This should be good to go for the first bake. I said, I don't know if I'm going to stream uh, every day. I might do like every other day or something like that, just so the it looks like progress is being made. It's going to be wild when it's done. It's hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's crazy when it's done. I like spawn. I'm going to make it, I want to make it huge. So this will be done in a few minutes. Yeah, a few minutes. <laughs> On the video, it'll be done in a few minutes. Uh, Chris, how long will it take to complete? Um, I'm looking, it's probably like, probably about 30 hours, 20, 30 hours. It'll be about, it'll be about five, six hours a night for at least a week.
I mean, this freaking monstrosity. Jeez. This thing weighs a ton. Um, am I going to be selling or having any giveaways? I do giveaways uh, all the time. I've done about three, I think. Um, the Patreon gets one is coming up. Um, I'll do another one probably for the 20,000 subs, which if it's going the way it's going, that'll be soon, very soon. Um, All right, Timo, have a good night. Um, but a lot of these I want to be do. I want to make, uh, I want to do like this, the monster clay and the Chivant clay. And those ones I have to make molds of to, um, to paint them. So those will probably be up to buy. I don't know if I'm going to paint. I'm not that great at painting yet. Um, so I, I sell the sculpture. I sell like the Mandalorian sculptures, just the regular, just the blank cast. And then people can paint themselves kind of like a hobby kind of thing. Uh, Jazz's video, how many subs did I have? I really didn't get too many from that um i don't say too many i think i got, got i got like a thousand real quick um but now like i said ever since i switched over to d doing these more like really really detailed uh sculptures my subs have gone crazy so um uh, i was at eight thousand i think something eight thousand something when he did that couple months ago so it's already over doubled lies all lies your painted sculptures are amazing i like them i need i mean there's stuff that i need to address and fix i tried i'm trying to do like lots of stuff like i'm trying to do the airbrush more and do the shading and you know do the glosses and the satins and all that you know crazy stuff that um people do How long have I been modeling? Uh, I've only been doing these type of sculptures, like really, I mean, I'd say like, I put like quotes, like real sculptures since December. So like three months. Uh, where do I sell them? Uh, it's on my, um, it's on my uh, Etsy, I believe, yeah. the. It's a clay make store. It's in the links. It's yeah, it's linked in all my videos underneath under the support me. I think it's still there. Hope to start sculpting, but we haven't a monster clay or polymer clay in my country. Uh, what do you have? I don't know. Uh, you can have, you can do anything. You can sculpt with anything. Uh, people sculpt with just like the the air dry um, clay that people make like, you know, pottery stuff out of. People do it with that too. How many sculptures do I have in my studio? Um, well, I do. Well, let's say if you count like the little like Pokemon little sculptures and everything. Uh, it's, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, like I said, I do one a week for, and I started doing one a week in April. So I'm getting, I'm getting up there. I have them all, all on a shelf. I don't know. Well, some of them on the shelf. I don't know if I can even get, if you can see up there. I have a bunch up there and I have a bunch out on another shelf out over there. Yeah. <laughs> 
basically toilet paper and water. Yeah, it is, but people do people people do crazy uh, good stuff with that. You know. See if these LEDs still work. Maybe I can. Oops, I can zoom the camera in. Oh, you can't see. It. I have a little switch. go so the eyes the eyes the chest and the thrusters and then the tons of LEDs that are in here on a different um, switch Oh yeah, definitely the air dry clay. You can have the same render as monster clay or palm oil. Yeah, of course. There's lots of people that do amazing stuff with air dry clay. It's just you know you just gotta stick with a medium that you like and learn it basically. Um, there's there's good and bad, you know, positive and negatives about uh, pretty much every type of clay. Some will you know some will hold detail better, but are really hard to work with and. You know, some are like drier or not dry. You know, there's always good and bad. Um, where do I sell them again? It's the Etsy. Um, it's here. I think I can, I should just be able to link it here.
Oh, I thought I killed the stream. Okay, here we go. That's the store. I said the only thing that's up there is the Mandalorian one. Yeah, no problem, Ron. I'm say when I, I'm definitely gonna do more casts and more molds of stuff, so it'll, everything will be up on there eventually. But I think that's it for me, guys. I'm getting the desk there from the wife. Dinner is ready. Um, I will post. Did, it, did everybody like three o'clock? Did that work? I might do. I'll do it. Um, let me see. I'll do Wednesday, three o'clock. So if everyone's around, it'll probably be up there. I'll probably be up again. That way, that that way, the base will pretty much be done, and then we can go. We can start working on the um, the body and everything. And there is a big delay on this. I don't understand why there's a delay. Oh yeah, what I was gonna what I forgot to say, I don't know why I pulled this up here. Real quick, is what people are asking about for the um let me zoom this back out here. For the this uh for the diorama right here, it's blank. And the other side is blank too, basically. And like I said, I asked people in the first, the Thanos, to tell me what they wanted, what like what characters they wanted, because it was my own end game kind of thing. But basically, bases can just keep going on, just keep adding on and on and on and on and on. And basically, anybody can be in there. So there's going to be dozens of more uh, characters that are going to be added to this just huge diorama. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. This was fun. I had fun hanging out with everybody. Don't hopefully people aren't stressing too much. Try and enjoy themselves. I'll be I'll post a thing on that for uh, Wednesday, Wednesday at three o'clock. I think three o'clock is good time. For just a few hours, just to hang out, and that way, it, I don't do it every other day. If I do it ever, eh, every other day, uh, it'll show more progress. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for everyone coming out. I'll see you Wednesday.